The first thing I'm gonna do is inflate a balloon. Well, I'm going to do three different patterns on these balloons. And for this one, I think I will go with polka dots. So I'm gonna use some of my stickers here, my colorful stickers. I'm gonna start with these purple ones and I'm just gonna peel them off and stick them right onto my balloons. So just very random, wherever you feel like sticking them. This is a fun project you can get kids to help with as long as they're old enough to be safe around balloons. Do be careful if any of the balloons pop while you're doing this project or after you're done with the balloons that you dispose of them properly so no children or pets can get the balloon, the rubber from the balloon in their mouths. And you can just be artistic however you want. Put as many on as you want. I know if my granddaughters were working this on this, it would probably be covered almost solid. You know how kids like want to use more and more and more. And I don't like where that's stuck too close to that other one and they will peel right off as long as you've not overinflated. If you've overinflated your balloon, peeling one off might make it um, pop. And I've decided that now that I see it, I want to add some of the yellow ones too. So I guess call me a kid. I'm gonna add some yellow ones to this. This kind of looks like an egg, like kind of like a decorated Easter egg. All right, let's go on to the next. Like I said, I decorated these three different ways. For this one, I'm going to take these labels and I'm gonna cut right there and cut that curve off. I don't want that curve to show. And then I'll throw that away. And then I'm just gonna take my whole sheet of labels and cut them into narrow strips. And you can do these as thick or as thin as you would like. Again, this is your chance to get creative and have some fun. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just peel off these pieces of sticker and I'm gonna put them randomly all over our balloon so it almost looks like it's covered with confetti. So I'm doing this project for Easter, but this is something you might want to incorporate for like a kid's birthday party in the future. See those two are over top of each other? That is just fine. Just like that. If you threw a bunch of confetti, you don't know how it might land. But you get the idea. This is how our next balloon is going to look. And again, it's kind of like an Easter egg. Now you can get creative with these stickers and even cut out like flower shapes or you can get some flower stickers and put on them. But I wanted to do these all just kind of fun patterns. Now the next one is the most difficult pattern I'm gonna do. And what I've done is I've taken my green stickers, just my green ones and cut them into pieces like we used on the one that was confetti color covered. And now I'm going to take these and put them on an angle like this. And then we are going to take this one, this sticker and overlap it just like that. You see how this is gonna show really well on the white. And I'm gonna go all the way around the balloon like this. And then, I am going to add some of these fun pink circles right beneath. Just give it a little more pizzazz. Like I said, you can do this on any color. I just thought that on the video it would look best if it was done on a white balloon for you. But see, it looks quite Eastery. I guess. I guess that would be, a white balloon would be one that we didn't dye. And there's how your Easter egg is going to look. And you can add more to it up here if you want. Um, and like I said, you can cut the labels out into any shapes. So now let's go see what we're going to do with our balloons. And now you can see how I've taken to some artificial greenery. You can use Easter grass if you would rather and put it right down the middle of my table. 
Here's, uh, there's the one that we just finished right there. And here's our confetti balloons and our ones with the zigzag pattern and the ones with the polka dots. And you can just have a lot of fun with these. And it looks like we've hidden Easter eggs, colorful Easter eggs all down the center of our table. So I hope you like this idea. It's something you might want to incorporate this Easter. You'll need 10 inch balloon, or maybe you can go bigger if you feel very adventurous. First, blow your balloon to the size that you want. You can go as big as you like, but I opted out for a 10 inch balloon. Then rip off newspaper into small pieces. I found the best size for paper would be 2 inches. Using Mod Podge, glue pieces of paper on the top of the balloon. When the whole balloon is covered, put another layer on top of it. I let it dry overnight and after that I added another third layer to make sure that papier mache is thick enough because remember, if it's gonna be too thin, it might put a dent onto your egg or like your project and it's not gonna look that good. So make sure that you don't get lazy and use as many layers as you can. After I applied those three layers of newspaper, I let it dry overnight. And when it dried, I popped up the balloon to get rid of it and after that I was left with a hole on the top. So what you do, you just put some more newspaper on top of it and you kind of cover the top of the egg. You use the same technique, you use Mod Podge and glue pieces of paper on the top of the balloon. In this case you've got to yourself a perfectly shaped papier mache egg. I let it dry for some time and then I painted it. I applied the first layer of primer just to hide all the text from the newspaper so it do it's not visible and it doesn't sip through. And then I went ahead and I painted it in blue because this is such a cheerful color, right? I opted out for the spray can because I wanted to speed up the process but you can also use the brush and you can also just simply use the paint. When it all dried I applied a bit of splatters of brown paint on the top to make this fun Easter egg complete. And to do that I just wet my brush and then applied a little bit of paint of the brown paint on top and I just like splashed it all over the egg. Easy peasy. And then your fun papier mache Easter egg is done. How cool is that? I think it's pretty pretty awesome and my kids actually really really love it and they can't stop taking pictures of that and I'm very very happy that I used a lot of layers and I made it quite thick so they cannot put the dent on the egg. But how fun is that? <laughs>